Let's build this hanging starter house together. This works great for mountain biomes or can also be hanging down from a cave ceiling as well. All of these blocks can be obtained very easily early game. Uh, the blocks that you're gonna need for this build is gonna be a bunch of spruce items, spruce trap doors, spruce stairs, etc. You can exchange the wood for whatever you would like. Um, and then also if you look at the bottom right corner, you'll see a dispenser and a target block This is for a mechanism that will when you shoot the target block drop down some water So you can actually get up to your hanging base and you don't have to climb or build up in order to just get to your base every single time All right, let's get started So you're gonna want a five by six bottom area The only thing you really need is the corners which you will see on my screen are gonna be orange and yellow wool um, you don't need the red or the white, that's just there for you to see, and you're going to build up the orange corners to be six blocks tall, while the yellow corners are only going to be five blocks tall, and we'll see why I'm doing that in just a moment. Alright, once you have all those down, you're going to go ahead and place spruce fences on all of the pillars. It doesn't matter what type of wood you're using, but I'm using spruce. And then on only the yellow ones, you're going to place mossy cobblestone walls, and then now on all of these, you're going to place your grindstones, ideally facing the same direction. You'll see I messed up, I'll fix it later. And then on top of the grindstones, you're going to place some oak logs. Now, our grindstones are currently rotated downwards, so we're going to go ahead and flip each single one upward using the oak log that we just placed down, so we actually have some sort of a hanging effect instead of this just kind of looking dumb. Also, using our now placed oak logs, we're going to place uh, spruce trap doors around each one of them and then fold them all in so they kind of look good. And then after that, we're going to build up one more oak log. And on just the yellow ones, you're going to place uh, stone buttons all the way around, build up another oak log all the way around. And then on the orange ones now, place stone buttons all the way around the log and then top them off with spruce stairs just like this. Now we're going to make sort of a C shape using the oak logs, uh, but it's backwards. And on that open side that we're going to have on the left, we're actually going to put two spruce trap doors and then a spruce slab right in the middle, just like that. And now we're also going to add some dark oak signs along the sides, as you can probably see I'm placing right now. Um, these are kind of optional, but I like how they look adding one more oak log on each of the corners and then some more spruce slabs just on top of each one. I do kind of an interesting pattern for the floor just because you'll be seeing it a lot walking on the ground. Um, and then we're going to grab some stripped spruce logs and put them in this sort of formation with uh, our doors on the inside so we can actually start to form our house. And then we're adding some spruce stairs just like that and we're going to start adding decorations which is just some lanterns with fences and some more fences for the balcony. As I said at the start, you're going to use a lot of spruce trap doors for this. As you can see, I'm just giving them to each of the corners because I think they look nice and they add a little more depth. If you really don't have enough spruce, you don't have to add these. Right here, you'll see I'm adding the one and only window for this build. It's kind of sad. Also, it's an iron bar, which is sadder. But anyway, we're going to go back to the top view and we're going to throw in one stripped log. And then we're going to actually go back to that backward C pattern from before and then fill it in with a upside down spruce stair. Once I do this last little ring right here, we're actually going to take a break from the house and we're going to go over to the chimney, which is very easy to follow. It literally only takes like six pieces of stone. And then on the top, we're going to add our campfire and the trap doors that surround the campfire. I I actually put out the campfire on mine because the smoke kept getting in the way of the recording but switching back to the roof it's a little bit tricky with the directions of the stairs but just watch this you'll figure it out and then i also had slabs on the bottom of two of the stairs in this next bit you'll see that i am literally just doing upside down spruce stair right side spruce stair and i just keep doing that till the center um this next bit i used dark oak slabs um, on two of the spots and then right above them you're going to see that i placed dark oak blocks right there. I'm also going to place two spruce blocks just like that. It seems weird, but it'll make sense in a moment. And then I alternate spruce slabs as well as dark oak trap doors. You'll see on the side with the chimney, I just copy the exact same roof over to that side. It is quite literally as simple as that. So unfortunately for this next bit, we're going to need the temporary blocks again. I'm using blue wool and purple wool, but um, the blue one is six and the purple is five. You're going to place dark oak planks right on top. On the right one, you're going to place some dark oak stairs facing like that, and then you can start adding more of your grindstones, just making sure that you're alternating them, but other than that, you can really put them whichever way that you would like. Now at this point, if you've already reached whatever ceiling you had before, you can stop here, but I'm going to work on the arm or the crane that is attached to the mountain, and you'll see I'm adding more of the trapdoors that I just love so much. But unfortunately, one more time, we're going to need some temporary blocks. I'm using pink wool, and this is just so we can get the right direction on our stripped spruce logs. 
um, you're gonna do a three by six formation, just like I'm doing here. And then we can actually break those right away. This next bit, I'm just doing the tip of the crane slash arm. Um, I know this looks dumb right now, but I swear it will come together in a moment. Now I'm just following this alternate pattern with these spruce slabs, but breaking the third one um, and then adding even more spruce trap doors like this. This kind of gives it like a, like a wrapping effect. Uh, which you'll see in a moment when we add even more campfires that I will have to put out um, because the smoke just loves getting in the way of the replay mod. I don't know why, but I put those out right away and you should too. I add just a couple of spruce signs. This is the same design on the other side, even though I don't show it. And then right here, I start attaching it to the actual mountain. This will kind of depend on how far away you are from the mountain at this point, but you can kind of copy the design that I do here. And then we flip down to the bottom where you can see I'm just adding some spruce planks and some spruce stairs to kind of taper it off. And then I add some dark oak uh, fences just to add a little bit of like a latching effect and then just a couple more stairs and some trap doors at the very bottom and that's it for the crane arm at this point you can go back to the bottom and break all of those temporary blocks if you haven't already these are not needed anymore obviously but first you might want to work on the water mechanism which I'm about to show you so you're gonna want a dispenser not a dropper a target block and then just a couple of other items just to kind of cover it up and make it look more natural like I do there and once you put a water bucket in the dispenser all you have to do is is shoot the arrow and boom you have water flowing down and to turn it off again just shoot another arrow but it's a great way to just go up and I think it actually looks really cool and that is it for the entire hanging starter house build if you enjoyed and if you ended up building this please tell me down in the comments um, while you're down there be sure to subscribe I have never made really content like this before but if I get a lot of subscribers from it I will absolutely make more things like this but yeah have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one